so guys today i'm going to show you how we can edit a prerequisite uh, within this install sheet installer so last time i i have given the demo on how we can use the redistribute node which is this one and how we can change more than one installer within the same installer right now how we can actually add, add or use the prerequisite funda in the install sheet installer so today i'm going to show you how we can added the prerequisite file first of all uh, these are the prerequisite file because these are the instruction prerequisite and the location for all of them is being decided via tools options and prerequisite tab so here you will be see able to see uh, all the prerequisite files stored so if i just go to this uh, folder uh, that i will be able to show uh, all the prerequisite files are there right when So here all the prerequisite files, files are there. The extension for prerequisite file is .prq. And let's say if I just open any prerequisite file with the notepad, then I will be seeing some kind of XML structure where I, I am able to see some conditions. I am able to see some operating system condition or some normal conditions. Also, I am able to see which file will be included and its checksum and sizes and you are download url i am also able to see the executable file name and its dependencies and other configuration like msi progress on reboot whatever it is right so all these th things which i am saying can be configured uh, through the this install sheets and page right so let's say uh, I pick up this these are my created let's edit them right after edit you will be prompting with this dialog here 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 you can see that there are six steps first of them is properties properties means this is a unique angwid identifier which will be unique for each prerequisite uh, located in that folder right now uh, here you can if uh, the flexor also provided provides or any kind of the perfect provide the prerequisite as well for the same then you can uh, provide the link for that prerequisite file uh, of from the web and you can write description also and now conditions so come to this condition step here you can add your own conditions so conditions can be added via based on some type of condition like whether a registry key does exist or not so you will be typing the registry key and saying on which path you have to look up and if the condition if the specified registry key exists only then run this prerequisite so you can specify on which condition this prerequisite will be invoked right so this is a tab so this is a tab where you are saying like these are the conditions and if these conditions or any of the conditions says true only then this prerequisite is specific installation dialog will dialog will prompt while installation so as of now let's see what i did for this uh, for this installation i said that look up this key and look up this value and the value should be this if not then the value if the value on the target machine is less than this then uh, you will be going to uh, run this prerequisite right and i also added one more prerequisite is specific to this uh, operating system so I am saying that on Windows 7, any workstation, this need to be run, right? In the second one, I said that on any operating system, which is of Windows Server 2012 IO2, this must be installed. So basically, conditions are like for the registry keys. Well, the first three conditions are specific to the registry entry, right? And the last three, uh, last uh, three, First file does not exist. R is specific to file. So basically, you can say that the file the address path should be exist or not, whatever it is. So file and now operating system. So basically, type of conditions are here. For one of them is uh, release uh, is specific, release registry is specific. Second one is for file is specific. Third one is for operating system specific. So only these three type of condition you can uh, use to invoke your prerequisite, right? I mean, there is no any kind of uh, script, scripting code or any kind of op, 
any kind of hack by which you can create more uh, than these type of conditions to invoke your Flickr widget. Let's say you are going to uh, say that I need to install Flickr widget. If uh, this uh, condition says true, and the condition you are saying is not uh, listed in these types of conditions, so you you think that you can write code to define that condition and then invoke the page process this is not a conda i mean to say there are only three types of conditions which on which you can build up your prerequisite uh, invocation point right so this is the likeness of uh, likeness or issue in this prerequisite conda so now just leaving it in group profile you can add more than one files here but uh, you know that uh, while adding the files you can also update the url for download of that user file also now application to run so you have added more than one file here but only one file will be able to execute and uh, i think uh, the if one file is uh, going to be executed then other file are supportive or can be invoked by the same one file which is being executed right so this there so that's the reason there is a one, one file you can specify uh, if there is need, you need to install things silently or these things so you can pro provide some command command teams i think i have done this before so let me show you how i did it lastly uh, wait a minute if i just open this one so you can see that i have a specified few command lines uh, which will say that no start and go silently so ultimately silently installation will happen with these things and these are codes you can search this code on online i have shown you now come to this so here it says how the prerequisite will behave so this prerequisite requires administrative request yes and uh, another thing prerequisite will be locally skipped by the user and whatever way so continue in setup if after the installation of the prerequisite the condition should be still indicated it is required then continue the setup if the prerequisite appears to read, need a reboot so what the action you want to play now dependencies here you can add more than one prerequisite so it means like let's say your prerequisite is microsoft.fm member 4.6.2 right and you are adding more prerequisite that means this prerequisite also have its own prerequisites and those own prerequisites are listed here right so that means before execution or of this microsoft.net framework 4.6.2 full prerequisite you will be prompting with the prerequisite of these three one by one so ultimately saying after installation of these uh, three uh, prerequisite you will be prompt with the prerequisite of this so ultimately saying we have sequenced this prerequisite with their own prerequisites right so if i say that how we will set up so ultimately we browse for the prerequisite file and select any prerequisite file let's say select this one and here we say this this right now one more thing this is the detail what i have shown you for the prerequisite edit, edit now you can save the same prerequisite by a save click or save as right so this is the way to edit any prerequisite and uh, you know already how we can use the prerequisite just mark check it and after marking it checked you will be just setting properties right so these things uh, these things uh, oh, i've already shown you so thanks guys for watching my video and go in detail and just try to understand these things practically thanks